Well, let's go on everybody. Come back. We're going to talk about what's in this plastic container. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing today? Hopefully this video finds you doing well. I'm shooting this on Memorial Day weekend. I planned on shooting a bunch of videos this weekend. Get some stuff built up. Um, but I gotta show you something. Some of you guys know I live in the south. I live in Tennessee. And right now, where I live, it is 58 degrees and feels like 56. Now I am kicking myself for not planning a camping trip this weekend. Anyway, so one of the things me and Chase discussed on our last camping trip was the fact if I'm going to be doing a multi-day trip anytime soon, I needed to downsize what I'm using. He is correct. 100% correct. Matter of fact, I've got a video going to be coming out after this one at some point um, showing how I have downsized my camp kitchen gear and it all fits in one tote and that's the way it needs to be um, if I'm going to do an on the road type trip in October I actually got two planned for October uh, October, September, somewhere in there it depends on uh, how things cool down around here like <laughs> here it is almost the first of June and it's 56 degrees outside. It's actually raining right now. Or not raining, but drizzling heavily. So, I've got to downsize. Keep it simple. You know, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, my gear. So, I found something in a way of a stove to do that. I could use a backpacker stove to do my cooking. But this is a lot more stable. Um... Although I do laugh when they say this is considered a backpacking stove. No, this is not. Uh, Pocket Rocket is considered a backpacking stove. Not this. This I call a car camping stove. Or a trip type stove. Even if you have a little teardrop. This is what you need or want. Um, so... Let's take a look at it real quick. Um, I like how it comes in this case to keep it in. And I'll show you how I keep it here. In a, in a, how I'm going to keep it in the mess. Well, I'll show you in the mess kit video uh, how that going to look. Okay, so this is the Gas One. What they call dual fuel portable stove. Uh, if you want to know, the model number is a GS dash 3400p dual fuel stove runs on butane canisters which goes in here let me take it out and i'll show you we'll take it out of the little box set the box to the side and then you're left with just the stove so the butane canisters fit in here and this one comes with something a little special I kind of like this idea. So you know what butane would lock into here. And of course then you push this. Wait a minute. I got this upside down still. Then you would push this down. That locks in the butane canister. Or. You have this. Little thing that comes with it. Because this is a dual burning stove. So you feed this into the back. Like so. Screw it on. Once I get it to plug in. Now I would say if you have one of those trees uh, hooked to a, a 25 pound or a 10 pound whatever size cylinder. Um, you've got this will probably screw. I know it will screw into it because it screws into what I'm fixing to show you next. You take your Coleman propane tanks. These little ones. Uh, which this is a 16.4 ounces or 1.02 pounds. You screw this bad boy in it. Like so. 
and then you can set this off to the side however you want to set it voila you get to cook on propane what I like about it let me get a couple examples for you is you can put just about any size pot or pan on this thing and it sets pretty darn good that's my little coffee pot coffee water pot I use what I like about it it's collapsible and good to go now I will say this thing suffered a little damage uh, on the Coleman because of a flare-up that I didn't realize was happening but it still it holds water and it still does its thing so what else I like about this is once you turn the gas on like so you hit the igniter and it's very very adjustable I mean you get down to oh, went too low you get down to almost nothing on flame so and then once you turn it off seals up it's done now like I said they they consider this a backpacking stove I do not consider it a backpacking stove at all I do consider this a good car camping stove because honestly everything I did when me and Chase were camping I only used one burner the whole time I can put a pot on for hot water you know I think you know that's the biggest pot I've got I am looking at upgrading pots and pans well part of keep this one I like this one it works great I mean I cook bacon and eggs in it that morning here I water up for coffee no problem so I consider these two very valuable but these thin walls that I've had forever I'm thinking about getting rid of these using um, something different totally we'll discuss that in the camp cook but uh this is an 8,000 uh, 8, BTU burner, so I mean it gets plenty hot. You can cook just about anything on this. I can't see why you couldn't cook a steak. You couldn't cook whatever. If you're not able to have an open fire, you put you know, put your skillet on there. And I've already tried this on there. Go put the cast iron on it. I always keep a cast iron skillet on me in my thing. That's the heaviest thing I now have in my cook kit is my personal cast iron skillet. Fire it up, heat it up, and go. So anyways, guys, um, Gas One is the name of it. Butane or propane dual fuel portable stove. Um... It is not recommended to cook inside of this thing. I do. I am in the garage right now, but I've got the door open, so I've got plenty of ventilation. I'm not worried about um, carbon monoxide poisoning out here with this. The wind's blowing in here pretty good, so we ought to be good. But uh, I think this is a real valuable option. Um, I will leave a link to it down below if you want to pick one up on Amazon. That's where I got this. Um, the going price on it right now I'm gonna make sure I give you the right price the going price on it right now is $32.99 which is not bad at all I mean some of the backpacking stoves you'll pay that much for a good one anyway um, let's see I want to look at one thing the weight on this thing it's pretty light I was I'm impressed with how light it is uh they don't give you're kidding me yep weight 3.1 pounds so it's very light it's pretty light but it's not a backpacking stove at all and like i said um i like it i think it's gonna work great hope to test it out here pretty soon anyways that's it for now uh make sure you check out all the links down below subscribe thumbs up share do all that good stuff for me and be prepared.